Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 24 of the Leaco Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And again, we have one that we've done at some point. When did I do this? Huh. I mean, I guess that's like a year ago. Hmm. Anyway, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about uh, this farm and today and stuff like that in general. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something real quick about... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to do a bonus farm today, even though apparently this one is whatever, um, because I am... Uh, uh, today is Thursday, which means... Uh, uh, which means that, unfortunately, uh, I did my squats today. Um, today I did 275, uh, which is... I don't know, what is that? And uh, My math is very bad. So I'm a little distracted because people keep on pinging me on my whatever. Uh, my apologies. But yeah, so it's about 125 kilos. I've been squatting 125 kilos uh, for five reps, uh, four sets. But I kind of, um, I don't know, today was just a really tiring day. Just one of those things um, where, um, yeah, just really tired. So I'm not going to do a bonus question. That's the thing. Um, and yeah, because I kind of, like I had the strength to do more more reps and more sets. But but at some point, I, I'm having mentally, you know, just one of those days where, Physically, you're actually pretty good, but mentally, you just couldn't be in the gym or something. And I think I didn't just didn't sleep enough last night or something like this. Anyway, I'm getting old. All these things hurt. Uh, everything is naggy and stuff like this. Anyway, okay, let's let's look at actually today's problem. Uh, 1675 minimize deviation in a way. Okay, so you give it a number of n positive integers if an element is even divided by two. If it's odd, multiply by two. And these are the things you can do any number of times. The duration is the maximum difference between two elements in a way. We turn the minimum duration. Okay. This one is a weird one to explain. Um, I one of my past Larry kind of explained it better. But the idea is that, okay, first of all, you want to kind of sort, but um not but that I mean maybe you don't want to you don't well, uh how do I say this? You don't need to sort it per se, but <clears throat> But basically, if you did sort it, like mentally and visually, if you sort it, then the uh, the deviation is going to be the first element minus the last element. Or the other way around, but you get the idea, right? Um, so that's basically, um, yeah, that's basically the idea. And then the question is, and then obviously, well, um, if you're given, let's say now you have this sorted thing, right? And you, you have the biggest element and you have the smallest element, and then you... Um, and then and you have these operations, right? What happens? Well, if you take if you if you change something in the middle, meaning that if, let's say you have uh one two three four, if you change a two or three or anything in the middle, it doesn't change the answer for good, right? Meaning that it can change the answer, but it can only make it worse. Um, so basically, you only really operate on two numbers, right? The um, the the biggest number. Um, or, or yeah, the biggest number or the smallest number at any given time, which you can kind of, you know, there are a couple of things you can do with that, right? Uh, to my mind, a uh, heap already comes into, like, my idea. Um, and then there's a sort of a thing, right, where there is a little bit of an asymmetry between uh, these things, right? What I mean by that? That means that uh, uh, multiplying things by two is revertible, right? Um, because if you multiply an odd number by two, then it becomes a even number, and then you can divide it by two. So at worst, you add add two, and then you subtract two, and then so forth, right? Oh, sorry. What did I say? I mean, you multiply by two, and then you divide it by two, and you get the same number, right? Um, however, the other way is not true, meaning if you start with even and you divide it by 2, it may be another even number and then you cannot divide, right? Maybe like, for example, a power of 2 is a good example, right? Like 32, you go to 16, you can't multiply, your 16 is gone. So what would I do here, right? So what I want to do now is initially multiply all the odd numbers by 2, so then now you have this array. And then now, you've done all the multiplying that you would ever want to do, so then you only have one operation and now in this operation um, and in this kind of you know way 
Um, you only have, again, you know, only two things really matter, right? Like the, the changing the beginning and changing the end. Um, if you change the smaller number by dividing it, well, now you're just only going to get a bigger deviation. So now, on the larger, um, so we only want to divide by two on the larger number. I think that's pretty much how I want to do it, and I think that should be good because because the way that I've I hopefully or yeah hopefully the way that I said it, everything is kind of forced, right? There's no decision, and when there's no decision, you can maybe say it's greedy depending on context. Uh, but in this case, uh, it is greedy because you just keep on taking the max because there's no other choice that makes any sense, right? Because any other choice will only lead to a suboptimal decision which um, or position as we kind of talked about. Okay, so now that's the idea. Now we have to kind of fit data structures into it. I kind of gave it a hint. Um, first of all, yeah, let's, let's do n is equal to length of nums. Let's, let's do this incrementally, right? Uh, if num sub i my 2 is equal to 1, then num sub i multiplied by 2, right? Okay. So now we have all even numbers, and the operation that we want to do is keep on dividing the max number, right? So that means that we want a max heap, and yeah. So I'm a little, my vote is killing me, so uh, so I'm not talking too much. But yeah, uh, the way that so the thing that I always do, and you know, if you're new here, then maybe is well, then you know, then you don't know what I always do. But for in in Python, a heap is a min heap. So to make it a max heap, we just kind of invert the the thing by making everything negative, so that you know, yeah, you just have to kind of be careful though, because it's very easy to make a mistake in here. Um, and then maybe we want also a min element. Because now we want um, min is equal to min of nums. Because basically, as we said, we only need to keep track of two elements, right? The max element, which is the top of the heap, and then the min element, which is, well, somewhere inside the heap, but it doesn't change because, like we said, if we change it, it just changed the answer in a not good way. So then, okay. Now what do we do? Basically, after we get an odd number... So, okay, so if the top of the heap is, is odd, then we're done, right? Oh, oh, this is equal to zero. Because that means that the biggest number, we cannot divide it by two, so then we're basically done. Okay, also I have to keep track. Best is equal to, say, some infinity number, uh, some really big number. So if this is odd, then we're done, because if we cannot divide, by, divide the biggest number by two, then... No, just changing the other numbers won't make it better, right? So, okay. So then otherwise, um, x is equal to negative q dot hip pop of h, or heap, right? So this is the max element, and then we just sub, uh, keep track of that. So best is equal to min of best, uh, max element minus the min element, right? Uh, maybe we could even call it. And that, that is the current state of the row, and we just check to see if it's a better state. And then otherwise, we we put it back in, divided by 2. Because by definition, this is going to be even, so then we can just do something like this. Right? The only thing that, one more thing that we have to do is that if, if mx divided by 2, uh, if min is smaller than, or yeah, if min is bigger than that, then we should update the min. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's give it a spin. Oh. Oh, whoops. This is hip push. I don't know why I will hip pop. Uh, okay. We are very well. Did I misunderstood the problem? Huh, how did I get all of them wrong now? Hmm. That's unfortunate. Let's take a look real quick. Um, hmm. Print nums. Uh, nums looks okay. Yeah.
I should also maybe check the initial array, but I don't think it matters because everything is revertible. Okay. I I wrote two. Mm. All right. I wonder what I did here. So six and two. Okay, that makes sense. We make the six into a three. Uh... Oh, I see, I see, I see. So basically we quit when the top of the heap is odd, but we should still check that the top of the heap is um, is checked, right? So basically, uh, here we know that the top of the heap is odd, so then we still check it one more time. Uh, and... Okay. Wow, that is the case in every... Problem. Hmm. All right, let's give a quick submit. Hopefully, it's right. Good, 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 good. How? What was the? What? Did, why did I write so much more? Co oh, sort of list. I guess that's fine. Hmm. That's weird. But yeah. Um. So, what is the complexity of this? Right. Hmm. That's a good question. So we know that at the very least it's going to be n log n because we push everything in heap. Though technically we should have heap the heap area, heapified. So let's just, let's just pretend we're uh, let's say pretend we heapified. So this is linear, right? Uh, do we? It's, you could have done it with heapified, but I was just lazy. Um, otherwise, this is n log n. Just to be clear, I mean, it doesn't you know we're, we're trying to. So, so the question is, how many times? Um, this each item can be popped, right? Well, every time we pop an item, we divide it by two, right? So that means that each item is going to be popped at most log of that number times. And uh, I, I, it's a li it's a little bit complex to say. That's why I'm I'm struggling. But let's say R is equal to the range of uh, the numbers, right? Then in this case, um, this is gonna run at most n times log R times iterations, because basically each of the number can pop each uh, log R times, and each of these iteration cost. Uh, log n, right? So this means that this is n log n log r is the time complexity and space is still just linear, right? So yeah, and this actually dominates this thing anyway, so I guess maybe it doesn't matter that this is linear. I wasn't, I just wasn't sure yet at the time. But yeah, um... Yeah, that's what I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Maybe I'm a little bit too tired today. I'm, I don't know if that I'm explaining well. Let me know in the comments what, what you think, and I can definitely, uh, you know, do my best. Uh, yeah, that's all I have, though. But stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later, and take care. Bye-bye.